generally when I talk to people who short the shares, they're, they're not shorting it because of anything they know about Tesla. They're just shorting it because of historical precedent. Um, it's like, oh, there's never, there hasn't been a successful car company in ages, so Tesla's going to be, is, is not going to succeed. I'm like, uh, well, how about looking at the fundamentals, you know? Um, so uh, the, the, the thing is that whenever there's a big change in technology, whenever there's a big technology discontinuity, that's when opportunity arises in, in, in industry. Um, and if you look at, say, like the computer industry, we had IBM was extremely dominant in mainframes. Um, and everyone thought, oh, you know, they'll just be extremely dominant in PCs and everything. And they, they, they weren't. They just uh, they have a hard time with the technology, you know, when there's a sharp change in technology. Gradual changes they can deal with. But, but uh, sharp changes they, they tend to not do well with. Um, and, uh, and, and you can look at the Internet and say, well, why wasn't Microsoft why, uh, the leader uh, in, in search? Why, why didn't they beat Google? Um, why didn't Google beat Facebook? Yeah. Um, and you know, it's just tough uh, to, to deal with big technology change. And what we're seeing in the automotive industry is the biggest technology change since the moving production line. Part of what uh, Akio Toyota is trying to do with his, his company is, is try to push it to be more entrepreneurial. Mm. Um, he remembers the days of his grandfather when it was very entrepreneurial. You know, Toyota w made sewing machines in the, th in the 30s. And, and then they just decided one day they, they're going to make cars. And people were like, ah, they couldn't possibly make a car that anyone would want to buy. And then they made a great car. Um, but they were very entrepreneurial. And uh, Akio Toyota is concerned that they're, they've become too set in their ways. They're, they've become too convinced um, in their own rightness. Yeah. Um, and, and that's part of what led to some of the issues yeah. that, that, that he came in to, to fix. Uh, and Akio Toyota is a really great guy, by the way. Toyota is really fortunate to have him at the helm there, um, uh, but, but, but he, you know, he, he, he wants to push, push his team to, to try new things because wh when he went to his team and said, hey, uh, wh what about electric vehicles? They said it couldn't be done. Right. And so it's like, okay, so let's see if this little company, Toyota, uh, Tesla can, can do it. And so, and we're, we're doing it and they're like, ooh, okay, I guess it can <laughs> be done. <laughs> Why don't you think they could do it? I mean. They tried for they tried on a number for a long time. They put millions of dollars into into developing the technology. What's what's different? Well, well no, I, I think they will be able to do it over time, um, but it, it just it's just not very quick. Um, and um, it, you know, it, it, they they didn't uh, the the mindset of trying something new and radical was just not there. Um, that the it's, you know, if you, there's, people have written books about this, like Crossing the Chasm and you know, Innovator's Dilemma and mm -hmm. all that, um, about how it's difficult to do radical innovation at a big company. Because if you try to do radical innovation and you fail, you get a huge ding. Yeah. Um, and, and, and then, and often Especially if you have something to protect to start with. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. You, you've got to decide that you're trying to you decide that you're going to cannibalize your existing business yeah. and take a big risk and deal with all the issues that inevitably arise when you're trying to push a new technology, um, and 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 then and not get fired along the way. It's pretty hard. Yeah.